Skipjack is a primary species in our light meat tuna products. Skipjack are small tunas averaging between 6 and 12 pounds with relatively dark meat and a fishy taste. These smaller tuna are fast growing and abundant and swim in large schools in the Pacific, Indian and Atlantic oceans near the equator. Well over 2 million metric tons of skipjack, representing over half of all tuna, are caught annually. The majority of skipjack is caught in the tropical waters of the western and central Pacific Ocean. The light meat products may also contain yellowfin and big eye tuna, although this is not very common. Yellowfin are larger tuna ranging in size from 30 to 350 pounds, and next to skipjack are the most commonly caught tuna representing about one quarter of all tuna caught each year. Like skipjack, they swim in schools near the equator of the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. Persaining is the most common method of catching both skipjack and yellowfin tuna. This method accounts for nearly two-thirds of the world's tuna catch. The method of persane fishing is best described by the men who fish their entire lives. Basically, the net is a big rectangle. When you make it set, it's a cylinder on top, it's a cylinder in the bottom. The net is a mile long, and the net is discharged by the tuna boat going one direction and a skiff going the other, and making a circle. And, and we can let that skiff go by hitting a, we had a pelican hook which had a cable connected to that. And we got in position, I said, let her go. They hit that pelican hook, the skiff would slide off the end of the, of the vessel, pulling the net with it. So by the net, as the net was going out, now you circle the school the way you want her to go around it. The perfect set would be to get right to the skiff when the net is just falling off to the end, you know. We call that, you know, cork to cork. part of the net has a bunch of chain that runs around the bottom portion of the net and to keep it afloat on the top of the net is a bunch of floats. We call them corks or floats, however you want to call it, and that keeps the net buoyant. But to close the net, you have to close it from the bottom and the chain gets the net down deep so you can get, be able to get below the fish. So to catch the fish, you have to purse, we call purse, you bring the net in with cables on that bow and stern and bring the bottom of the net up toward the vessel and, and bring it aboard. And once that, that purse cable gets aboard with, with the rings, the net's closed. Instead of a, draw, a drawstring closing a purse from on top, this is just the opposite. You're closing a purse from the bottom. Like a woman's purse on a drawstring, and that's why it's called a purse saner. And when the bottom is closed, the fish is entrapped. It's in a swimming pool, very big swimming pool. So we bring the bottom of the net onto the boat, and then that's when we start rolling the net and onto the boat. That circle continues to get smaller and smaller and smaller until the very end. At that point, the fish is scooped up and loaded onto the boat, where it'll be fresh frozen for transport. Persane fishing is extremely efficient and consistently enables fishers to catch and freeze large quantities of tuna that swim in schools. 